It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Wednesday, August 5th, 2020. Number one, a day of pampering for four young black girls ended up as another example of questionable behavior and practice by the Aurora, Colorado Police Department. The same department connected to last year's death of a young black man, Elijah McClain, is now apologizing for a case of misidentification of a stolen vehicle. Video taken by a third party showed police officers pulling over, drawing guns on, and detaining a car of young girls and handcuffing at least two of the African-American girls. Number two, President Obama has released his first list of endorsements of down-ballot candidates in the upcoming general election or the candidates for offices down the ballot. In advance of his 59th birthday, the former president was the one presenting gifts to 118 candidates in 17 states. Jamie Harrison of South Carolina was among five Democratic candidates who received the backing of Barack in U.S. Senate races. Number three, in addition to the economic and political strain brought on by the pandemic, mayors in some of the largest cities in the country are also in a battle with increasing gun violence. Despite citywide lockdowns and safety mandates, cities have experienced an alarming increase in shootings and fatalities this year, up to 24% in the nation's 50 largest cities. And much like the pandemic, those shootings are disproportionately impacting communities of color. Number four, In a break with his teammates and colleagues in the NBA, Orlando Magic forward Jonathan Isaac chose not to wear a Black Lives Matter t-shirt during the league's opening game played Saturday at Disney World. Isaac also chose to stand for the national anthem while players and coaches kneeled. Isaac, who suffered a knee injury Sunday, said standing was an attempt to shift the conversation out of the realm of skin color and to highlight that the answer to all our problems and everything that goes on in our world is Jesus. Number five, it now seems like a second proposed stimulus check is likely and 26 million more people might get cash this time around thanks to the HEALS Act. A study by the Urban Institute found discriminatory outcomes with stimulus checks that were delivered faster to wealthy whites than to black and Hispanic families, as well as to lower income households. The lingering question this time will be how can the government execute on provisions in the HEALS Act to ensure it is not discriminating against blacks and low income households. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Stephen Hill as we discuss today's top headlines and more. And that's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.